uh, hey hi hello friends so in this class we are going to see how to write a, a verilog code and uh, i have been i am right now i am making a series for verilog so in the future classes we will be designing uh, fsm modules and also ram so without wasting much time we'll be going and explaining these things so if you are very beginner to this verilog code it might be like uh, you it, it's for you and other people can skip the video and you can go forward so first uh, if how to write a verilog code you should write a module which is like after followed by the module you should write some operator name like sorry not operator like module name so i am just writing the uh, module name as operator so uh, why i am doing that is like i am using different types of operators here to explain you so i just used in that way so in in the next thing uh, i i should give a input whatever the inputs i am going to use here i should write the inputs and in outputs i am just uh, writing for and or nor and x or x nor so i am just using in that way so i'll be writing x nor and this assign statement is basically like uh, you will be running the statement so you can compare this with uh, any anything in uh, c c++ or anything uh, for getting a direct output but here we we are just using an assign statement and after assign followed by whatever the logic you want to get it you can use so this is how we are just coding it and this you can uh, i i had written a test bench for this here uh, which i'll be explaining you in the later classes but right now just know what operators how to give the symbol so under this and and uh, uh, r is this symbol i i had uh, made a ppt for it and i'll be attaching that for you too so this is negation not and or and xor uh, sorry xor nor x nor these are the symbols we are going to use but uh, before going into that i just need to explain you one thing uh, if you are going to use a, a nand or nor if you are using a symbol like let's say um, if you are using a symbol like this it won't work like it's basically what uh, nor is like not of or right so you should put not of and a or b this this is the way you should use that expression and uh, that's all for this class so we'll be moving into next topic very soon okay uh, before that i'll be uh, running and showing like how this will come and uh, one second i just included x not just before just starting before starting this tutorial i'll just write here too and yeah yeah good to run i'm saving it So here you can see uh, we have the outputs of and and or nor or x nor x r. So if I am clicking here, so you can see for zero zero, uh, and is high, and uh, this are this is like just looking into the graph. So if you are doing that and if you are checking, you'll be uh, knowing which is right or which is wrong. So yeah, a b and input and r input and x nor input are one. So yeah. Uh, further we will be moving into the topic uh, 